Hello everyone, welcome back to the Spooky Island YouTube channel. Today we are moving on to episode 5 of the 2521 show on Netflix. Uh, again, so far, I really, really do like the show. Uh, very good, solid first four episodes I've seen. I think it's got a great mix of emotions and, like, again, comedy. I thought there's a lot of good, funny scenes. Uh, like last episode, we got that kind of chase scene, I guess you could say, and an escape scene, uh, which I really, really did enjoy. Uh, we also uh, got, yeah, again, that kind of massive gathering again with all the main characters. I think it was really, really good. I'm not going to call them support characters because I think they all have their own personality, uh, which is big enough to give them their own character, I think. Uh, and yeah, big characters is a big group. Uh, basically, it was nice to see that uh, again. You kind of saw the idea this might happen, uh, so you kind of see like the kind of eighties kind of introduction with them kind of walking along as a group. And I think as a group, I think it's going to be so good. I think uh, so many different personalities, so many different I guess stories we can get from this, which I think will definitely be told uh, in this show. And yeah, again, they were trying to pick up loaches, which was quite funny to see. Uh, again, they're quite slippery, but uh, they did the job. They did the job, uh, which was which was good to see. Uh, but yeah, let's just get straight into episode five uh, of twenty five twenty one. So yeah, here we go. I'm guessing we're going to see them like level one gangsters again and again, and each time they're going to try something. And this is again and again. She's getting even more stronger with uh, all the fencing practice practice she's getting in. It's like. Like, they're not going to stand a chance. It's not like they're going to level up over day, you know? They're kind of making themselves look even more stupid. They even got motorcycles trying to chase. Do you know what type of whip they have? It's like a sports car. But, it's funny. It's interesting, because we've still got quite a few episodes left, so it'll be interesting to see the direction this goes. But yeah, we're here for this journey. And to see the outcome, good or bad. <laughs> hopefully there's some type of positivity with the ending, hopefully. Again, then we don't know, I guess. Is it something which we'll get season two? I don't, I'm not sure. Or is it going to be a clear-cut ending? This is obviously after the last scene. He did pretty well, to be fair, like, uh, again, his reflex did come in play. Uh, and he's the one who had the point in the end by uh, distracting her with the full house situation, which would get anyone, like I've said in the last episode. I wonder what, like, full house volume there would be by the end of this show. <laughs> How quickly do they bring them out? This is all the important information we need. It's like, it's just full house. Not how their relationship's going. No one cares about that. It's just full house. <laughs> can you please hit him again so I can see a little bit better? I'm kind of squinting. Yeah, that's going to give her the power to absolutely smash this big up tournament which they're going to be going into. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, isn't that like school property? <laughs> what is that hers? Yeah, look after it. Imagine walking along the road with a fence in. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Uh, I'm just going to keep bringing it back to a weapon because I just compare it to the umbrella. That was a weapon. An umbrella is the most deadliest thing now. Just by just just by the footage we got of that like massive fight scene in this in this show, like I know there's a specific word for it, but. 
just to just go back to the point which I was trying to make. Just imagine seeing him walking along with that. Just like that, eyes are just like welling up. It's impressive. It's not easy to do. This is why I like TV shows because I think there's a lot of very, very good actors and actresses um, in TV shows. Some are even better than ones which get major jobs in film. It's just. It's a lot of hidden talent, and it's just that type of stuff is really appreciate, isn't it? I, I, if the acting is good, it just, just boosts everything. Like again, if you have a good actor and a good actress, uh, and a great idea for a show, it's just perfect. One of my all-time favorite shows. Uh, it's not a K K drama, uh, but it's Stranger Things. I really do like that show because, again, I kind of grew up with them getting older and one of my favourite um, actors from that was uh, was Dacre, um, the one who played uh, Billy. Just aced the role. He suited it so much and it's very similar to this, like again my favourite K-drama is Vincenzo and it's just every single member part of that show just made it possible to be like so good. 20 episodes, every episode you were so engrossed in and couldn't wait for and when it finished you felt sad and uh, I felt obviously with the last series I reacted to in Business Proposal, well, I, and I think I'll feel the same with this. Because it's just the connections there, I, I'm already interested. And there is people out there who think, oh yeah, Stranger Things, overrated. I don't get it. <laughs> it's quality. <laughs> and after that season four trailer, I, I'm so excited. Because it's going more horrified and I love that. I love horror. Like one of my favourite films is It, so... It didn't kind of work out for the good then. Yeah, they, they seem shook. They, <laughs> I don't think they're going to be picking on any kids anytime soon. Well, especially not him, but... Uh, again, it's horrible. That's the way they've learnt their lesson. is by being told by someone who's older than them. But still, it's worked out for him. So it's a win-win, I guess. Hey, I'd like to hang that up somewhere. Prize possession. One honour to be rewarded that from the gold medalist to be, you know. Here we go. Okay. Who's the rookie she's against? She is not going to last long. She's in the arena with an absolute beast. Sorry, it's the first round. Time for you to go. Boom, like that. She won't score a point. See you later. A bit of orange juice and you're out. Back to head back to your school. Sorry, not sorry. Let's freaking do this. Come on. It's sports, it's pew, competition, show form. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, 
Ah. Oh. Wow. Uh, the uh, lights. I don't like where this is going. Oh, uh, that's a sick uniform. I imagine like turning up with the full outfit and then you're like your national level. Okay, come on. Are you ruining? What are you doing? Hey, come on! You should not be doing that. You should be arrested for doing that. I know. Again, they've been through a lot too. Maybe it's a bit harsh, but they should not be doing that. Okay, so it was quite a close game. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> You know who it is, by right? the, the scream of passion, but I already knew she was on the right, but you can feel, you can feel her there, man, with the energy, and he's got to do with a completely different situation right now, doesn't he? Oh, you can tell he does a lot of running. Eleven seven. And... All the training coming in. It's, nice, it's good to see. Come on, man! Next round. Let's get. Let, let's let's finish it. This person off. Nimble feet. Look at it. Look at that. Bro, this is getting me both ways. Can it stop? <laughs> uh, uh, it's an emotional scene I can see here, but now we're seeing. Oh. Like I'm trying to get in with the fencing, but it's it's hard because then there's like an emotional uptight scene which is switching to. <sighs> let's go, let's go. She's panicking. She's on her heels. Yeah, yeah. I think as soon as you get him on their own quarter and they push back, you have the upper hand, and I think. An aggressive play is like if you're constantly f aggressive in the way you play, you kind of scare him a little. She, she's the fear factor, man. I think anyone would be scared. I would be. I think I'd flipping trip over my own feet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, coach. She's coming for you. Your gold medal is in jeopardy. The thing is, uh, with the other situation, I've got to switch here. He's uh, bumped into someone when he go in. Will this be a police matter because of this? Don't you say that's my daughter? Come on, you got. Well, she's proud of her own way. She doesn't have to make it a thing, you know. Some... <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. I can see it's a genuine good smile. See, she cares. That's an advantage, like you were saying, coach. Oh, I've been jotting these down. I've been jotting her all the all her notes. Don't get flustered. Don't get flustered. You got this. I'll just repeat exactly what the coach is saying. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Don't get flustered. Don't get flustered. I genuinely just really do want her to win. This is quite big. Come on. Oh god. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, both. Both quite aggressive with their plays. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Because she's got to change up, I think. She's got to change her style up. Because I think... Again, the experience may be coming through. Don't get flustered. Don't do what you did last time after you lost the point uh, against your future husband. <laughs> and I'm going to look at the camera here and just not say anything because people are probably going to be crying. Hopefully they get together. I don't know. People, people are making me panic, man. Stop making me panic in the comments, please. Sad ending. It can't be a sad ending. Oh, yeah. That's a music hit for you. May you feel the music. Yes, damn right, coach, man. Damn right. Right. Like, Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! The lunge attack, hold up, hold up, she's bringing it out of the locker. It's a friggin' full sweep! Oh, she tried it. Yeah, unlucky. Yeah, too slow. Too slow again. God, I feel it! God, I feel her passion! Come on! Everyone watch! Just like that. See you later. Take your shoes off. You're done. I'm glad they didn't switch back to the other scene because that's a more stressful scene. Come on. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's she trying? Job. Oh my god, she tried something. Hey, come on. That's that's that. What, what is this? She's trying to knock out the momentum of her performance. Okay, this is a football tactic too. Okay. Okay, she wants to play dirty. She wants to play dirty. Yo, Ender. Is this, if this was like... Uh, Marion, uh, Marion, Sonic at the Olympic Games. I'd be, I'd be building up the finisher right now. And there's gonna be some blue water like Demon Slayer, and I'd absolutely send her flying. See, that is ridiculous. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. Harness the power. She's peeing me off. Stop stopping the game. How is it fair? Oh, uh, yeah, you're not even that good to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, veteran. Yeah, my veteran. She's trying. She's playing mind tricks. She's playing mind tricks with me. I'll get inside their head. So I'd be lost right now. I'd be I'd be gone. I guess she has every right to do that. I guess last ditch attempt to try and get the point. But it's a bit, bit of a, bit of a sour way, isn't it? God, you get the taste, don't you? The taste of freaking scrubbiness. <laughs> you can't be doing that. You can't, you can't be trying to win like that. I would not be happy with a win if you were deliberately trying to, like, uh, try and get an advantage by. Oh, it's not cheap. I guess it's a tactic. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't listen to the way I'm I'm currently at. Flustered. Listen to coach. <laughs> All she would have to say to me is like, we could get a nice meal next, and a bit. That's it. That would harness my final attack. That would make me win. Hit the music, hit the music. Come on. I'd get low, light on my toes right now. Is that it? It's 15, isn't it? It's not yet, not yet. Match point, I think. Go infinite. Infinite power. <laughs> infinite Deku, let's go. 
build up everyone's faith in you and just harness it one swing. So it's like an old like an old samurai movie, just like <laughs> some really cool like special effect. Here we go. Yeah, she's gone. She's gone. She's going back. She's gone. She's gone. Yeah, see you later. She's gonna step out deliberately. Yeah. That's it, that's it. Woo! I think the whole arena. Why no what's this? Duh, that, that's a dodgy crowd. What But I think after that performance I'd be up in the air going yeah! Well done! <laughs> There must be all supporters of the uh, opposition. Coach, come on, get up, get up. Same team, same team. Thanks, coach. Someone's excited at least. Thank you so much, coach. I was a little bit edgy with you at first because of the way you come over, but that was all silliness from my end because this is this is the coach. This is what she really is. Damn right, coach. Now let's get some food. I'm hungry. Yes, 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 yes. I need a bit of Lucas Aid after that. God, now I know how stressful it is and how hard it is if you're watching like wrestling or something and you always have to shout, chants and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, she's got some more school rep now, I'm just saying. This is the feeling of how you felt like it uh, when I was back in like the cross-country team or the football team. And when you have to leave like school early, you walk out the classroom, you just got that, that kind of whole aura around you. It's like, yes, <laughs> we've made it. <laughs> oh, God, it was always maths where I had to leave. So I was like, oh, no, I have to leave. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was the lesson where you just always look at the clock. It's like, oh yeah, come on, it's like the longest time ever. And annoying, because when I used to do cross country, I was always the last race, which was really annoying, because I had to wait. I always did the 1500 meter or the 800. I was more of a distance runner, and then they would get me to do relay, uh, which, was, which was fun. But I hate being last, I just want to get it over with, you know, and then just chillax. Does that mean she gets really uh, one of them really cool like outfits like the national team gets? I that's what I liked about see not just one of the things it's one of many things in the racket boys like the whole outfit thing of your home like country what an honour that must be and obviously by this it's a big thing and I guess fencing was really big uh, at that time. Uh, so again it was on the news like even the way that uh, the mum reacted it's like it's a it's a really big thing it's good. And a perfect, a meal. And the coach will be paying it, paying for the whole thing. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Is that beef? Oh, the whole team. Oh, it's so cool. That's the one thing we don't really do over here. They don't really treat us for meals after we've done well <laughs> yeah, after I got my one gold medal across country I think I didn't get a meal it's just like a pat on the shoulder well done that's like, oh great cheers all right come on not even a McDonald's <sighs> shocking it feels like they have more of a connection with their coaches and uh, everything over here like sport like they have like gatherings and such 
And I noticed that even with work, I guess it's similar maybe here with that, with like, with work meetings and food and dinners with your, your work team, but it seems like it's a really big thing over uh, in Korea, so I think that's a, such a good idea, because you want to get connection with the people you work with, and again, you do sport with in their case, so it's not, sometimes it's not good being the best in the, in the clear way uh, where you're at if you're in sport, because you have no challenge. This she has something to go for, and again, it's another happy thing. But we still haven't seen the other scene yet, which is a little bit stressful. And back of my head, you know, with the fact that he tackled uh, them two adults who were kind of being a bit too much to the younger kid, which I don't agree with them, but you know what they've been through, so I'm again not gonna say much on that. So yeah, the police station. Oh, it's difficult because she's had such a good day as well. It's the complete opposite again, isn't it? One's had the best thing, one's had the worst thing, really. Now, these are the these two should be together, I think. Oh, calm down, <laughs> calm down. Just just the whole like energy from that sporting. Uh, big match up, the big fencing match at the end, that big last match is got to be in another gear. And I think they really do suit each other, I think, them too. I think eventually they will be a thing. I know we have the old situation. I, I don't mind the other couple. I guess there might be a situation where some of the 50 50 like audience who watch this will be oh, they prefer this, they prefer that. Uh, but okay, okay, he's not there. That means he's at the police station then. He's gone back with his dad, do you think? I don't know on who I'm asking that to, but I just go along with it. Everything was too good. It kind of that whole match kind of made me well not forget. I knew it was there, but it wanted it wanted me almost to forget it. Oh, just to change as well, you got to feel for these characters again. It's horrible because you got to understand like, the fact that if you don't know where someone's gone and they've just suddenly left uh, and you don't know what it is, it's, again, it's quite difficult. Especially as well, the way she started from this episode to the way she is now, and she, he's going back to Fenton. Oh, no. <laughs> what are we supposed to guess? Ah, uh. for for all what he's going through to still do that, you gotta understand he's in a very difficult position, and I think sometimes it's worth actually seeing him in person to say bye. So you can do this. It is very sad, but it's hard to see how sad it is unless you see. It's the same situation when you actually see stuff actually occur and it's different. Like when someone says it with words, it's difficult to understand until you actually see visually the situation. Financial criminal. God, he's insane. To be someone who's bad. Again, you never know their position. I Again, I'm still not going to judge anyone anytime yet, and even their dad, because you still don't know the full story. End of the day, I think that's, 
that's the problem with people nowadays. I think they're too easily and too quick uh, to judge people for their actions. I think everyone has their own story, and I think it's hard to judge someone by maybe their actions, even if they're not kind of just. Wow, and then you got to think from my mum's point of view, not able to see your kids, and I'm guessing it's wrapped up now the time. Wow. Seems like they've, there's quite a distance between these characters now. Um, even for her personally, I think she, he's helped her too because to have that kind of approach, I know again she she's got a clear idea of what he's going through, but uh, it's quite easy at a young age again to possibly think, oh, he's just left me, left me behind on my own, and kind of resent him for it, and to be able to again think that way and to think that positively about think positive about the situation and to care more about him and the way he feels than maybe how you want it to be. It is interesting again, uh, again I don't want to come to conclusion obviously even though they've, there's something more to the situation but um, again after she's had one little bit ounce of success it's like she has kind of changed but um, I generally do think she cares but I think she just wants the best for her daughter. Uh, and again, uh, sometimes it might mean them being a little bit harsh, but uh, now obviously she's made it to the national team. It's it's definitely a direction she can head, which could give her a future. I think they they're going to be forced to almost get along in this situation, or it's going to be very difficult. Their their living time in this area and their kind of <laughs> time here. Doing store, uh, maybe. <laughs> Thing is, everyone's gonna say they don't, but he does snore. Yeah. See, I don't snore. I don't think I do. Uh, I've never been told I do. So, I'm kind of like out of my own though in this room. <laughs> no one's near me. I don't sleepwalk either. I love the way she says, do you snore? She's the snorer, the culprit. I couldn't deal with that, I'm sorry. I would have to knock and say, you're snoring. Shush. Wow, it's a big operation. Fresh fish though, I bet it's nice. It's funny, always when you go to like them seaside towns or such, and then you try their like restaurants nearby, it's like they literally caught the fish uh, fresh from the from the sea, from that area, and it's, it's freaking lovely. A little bit of spices on that, you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of salt maybe. Mm. Then you know you're in for a nice tree, if you ask me. I feel like it's going to be some time until they meet each other again, actually. 
this might be more than a couple of episodes. I don't know. Basketballs have a smell too. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little bit smelly. You know, there's always more football, but you know, I always remember the smell, the strong smell of freaking basketballs. You're getting that treatment. Do you know how you treated him last time? He can't stop love. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I have to agree with him there. <laughs> oh, that was a great transition to what he'd been through. Uh, it's a lot to that scene, but you kind of understand him, I guess. I kind of like their like whole like uniforms, like the white. I think yeah, I like that. We used to have like some navy navy blazers, which got us too warm, and we couldn't take them off because we weren't allowed. And when we got to the high years, we had this light blue, like, polo. Uh, I weren't the biggest fan of them. I kind of like the white. I, I like it. Imagine, imagine if he was, like, really good at badminton. <laughs> it's like he's literally taking his character from the racket boys. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't know who he was. If they knew his reputation, they wouldn't go near him. <laughs> He's been honest. Three months later. Right at the front. Let's see. Right, they're going to be fully, fully ready for this. Three months of that, too. I'm guessing it's a daily thing, or. Again, as soon as she moves up, the standard also moves up as well. You're not dealing with uh, the level one rookies. But again, all that training, again, she might not be used to it because of the kind of pace she was in the first of all. So this is kind of, again, I can imagine. It was when I was in uh, college, when I did football, it was like one of the things we always started off with doing some like fitness training and then went into kicking a ball. It's like you kind of get fatigued and you have to kind of recover. Uh, but it was a good way of training because it made you stronger. But uh, <laughs> back then I was probably one of the, the smallest. So uh, it's <laughs> it quite interesting having to do like a leg workout and then go straight out to kick a ball. Yeah, he's gonna, that's going to be quite tiring too, having to lift stuff constantly as well. This is the way he's trying to find to kind of fit in with the crowd, I guess. And that's why he doesn't want to show his brother.
must have felt horrible. Yeah, that's what I expected, but... It's probably his past experiences hasn't helped him, but it's, it's quite upsetting. Because you've got to think as well what he does is like kind of the older brother. Should never do that. There's an episode uh, from um, a girl from nowhere. It's like a um, it's a Thailand show which I've got into, and someone lied about their wealth, and um, yeah, it kind of went on from there. It kind of shows that you shouldn't really lie or do stuff to pretend you're someone you're not. so difficult it's hard to say for either who's right or wrong it's like at the end of the day it's, it's sad to see them be like this from the connection they had uh, again they're both stressed I think so either outcome it's it's just difficult because he's got to take the most amount of responsibility if he decides to move it's down to him and uh, I know again thinking about it someone maybe who's younger might feel like again it's like why and why move uh, but everyone has their reasons in the end of the day if that takes losing close friends some things has to be done but I don't know it's I don't think you just do it out of cowardice it's more the fact of you're trying to give him a better life I don't know it's, it's hard I would definitely want to find out more uh, of his story I know we've got a lot already but I think there's more to it. Sometimes I guess you want to run. Maybe, maybe you wanted to run away. And you can't, you can't, again, there's responsibility, but I don't hold him responsible for that choice because sometimes it can get too much and sometimes leaving the actual place of where you get hurt or where, uh, again, it doesn't feel comfortable is the thing you run away from. But at the end of the day, sometimes, again, from the right, from the position here, maybe you think, oh, yeah, it's best to fight these situations. But, uh, again, if it's a build-up of just more and more crap happening it's very hard to say that unless you're in his shoes uh, and you can kind of work around it and again the one thing he did have there was that positivity which he's not getting now and maybe you see that uh, maybe the choice of smoking uh, again everyone has their choice uh, what they decide to do or like alcohol smoking and that uh, uh, again some people might think it's something small but to change and uh, I think that's what he needs. What he needs, he needs the uh, Duracell battery. Uh, um, yeah, he needs he needs happiness. And this is how can he find it again? We've not been around her. God, it's really turned this, ep up this episode around from the start of feeling really happy for making the national team for his view of just crap, everything. God, 
this is where the mixed emotions come. I'm feeling two different emotions. I'm happy for her because she's where she is and where she wants to be. And then I feel just distraught. And it's hard to feel that way when you get his side because of this. So it's like the show's playing with me <laughs> and playing with my emotions. It's the thing, I like both of the characters equally. So you feel both of their stuff equally. So a lucky kind of thing there again. It's good that she kept it with her. It's like guaranteed a win with that, I think. Maybe he'll turn up for one of her matches. Oh, bronze. Ow. She got on the podium. That's the thing, like most people are like, oh bronze medals, like mm, third best. No, 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 no. Any medal is an achievement, like silver. No, silver is probably the hardest because you're like, oh, Crap, I got so close to gold. Uh, but it, it, it's different, I think. For something like that, that big, it's like any medal, like in the Olympics, it's such a big thing. Any medal, it's just to get a, a podium spot. And sometimes you see the bronze medal actually more excited than the actual gold medal. Uh, again, on the complete other spectrum, if I'm playing Mario Kart and I get second or third, I can't handle it. I have to win. And a third place isn't good enough. So when I see Mario, which is the character I'm more likely going to use on a third platform, and I see Bowser first, it's sad. And that's when you have that situation again, when you think like an adult, when you think of someone, maybe a kid or a teenager. Teenager side is thinking about a silly Mario Kart third place podium position compared to a real life situation with the Olympics and winning an actual gold medal. See, you'd think I meant to say it like that. <laughs> and the taps, man. Such an iconic location now, isn't it? I feel so close, but they're not. <laughs> I guess it's gonna end there. That's a uh, um, <laughs> mm. very emotional episode again. But if he wakes up from his bed as a dream, I'm done. <laughs> this doesn't seem real. Why does it not seem real? That was really clever the way they did that. I'd like flick my ears or flick something. I'm like, is this real? Wow. Volume 14, we're on volume 14.
But how long is that? We can't be waiting. Get your ass in here now. Um, he just he just hung up on me. How dare you? <laughs> I have to I have to be like this or I'm actually gonna get very sad. I I just the fact they're both in a phone booth talking like this is it's something. You better. In the most nicest way possible. It, it kind of seemed like I was being a bit horrible there, but... I, I'm stressed. I'm a, I'm a happiness seeker. It's not going to plan. Wow. Okay, I'm going to cut that off before I see anything. Oh. Oh. Okay, so... From that episode, it started off... Uh, I guess really cool because she got into the national team uh, again. It was a really really en engrossing fight a uh, big standoff there between a veteran player And then we kind of got to see the whole kind of episode turn into uh, Something which again is very stressful and quite emotional uh, Again, it, it, it didn't make me uh, tear up like last time because I think the other one got me off guard uh, by uh, you feel the emotions, but I think there's just so much from that episode. It's like congested like everything is like, psh, like my head is like fuzzing from all this information and all this stuff uh, all this stress all this uh, again sadness which I'm feeling uh, which is pretty clear uh, and again uh, Full House 15 it needs to come out <laughs> so they can meet each other again and I think that'll be a really really good moment I think for episode wise that's quite uh, good. I don't know exciting is the right word because again there's more to it than just excitement uh, but yeah, no, it would be nice to see the whole group come together. Uh, hopefully it can go well for him. Uh, again, right now he's he's going for it. Uh, he's obviously having to live somewhere different and all that. But um, no, I, I really, really did enjoy that episode. I think that so far is probably my favourite episode, I'd say. Episode, yeah, that's episode five. So uh, next one will be episode six. Uh, so yeah, I'm very intrigued to see that and see where the direction it goes. I wonder if there'll be a, a couple more episodes of them not being together and then they're going to proper dwell on it and make it feel like an absolute like just uh, relief when they finally meet again. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, cheers everyone again for keeping support on this uh, series so far. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I've really enjoyed it so far. This journey, uh, uh, journey of emotions is quite clear now. Uh, but uh, yeah, again. And I will see you in the next episode, uh, which will not be tomorrow, but it will be the next day. So, yeah, cheers, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.